This is a nice quality palette. I don't want to know why I said nice. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I was really all over the place with my favorites this week. I mean, not really any particular theme. I do mostly have new things that I was loving and trying out and playing with, and then I have one oldie but goodie. But really, like as far as a theme, really no theme. I mean, kind of some warm tones, especially around Thanksgiving. I was loving the warm tones. Um, Pinky tones, I was wearing pinky tones, bronzy colors, really just all over the place. Totally just kind of made up this eye look today, but love how it came out, so I will share with you how I did this. But it's kind of all over the place, but I got some good things to share, so let's get to it. I am just so impressed with these palettes, y'all. I put up a whole video on the Profusion Holiday Collection goodies that I have, and just showing you swatches and letting you know my thoughts on those products. But two things that I was really enjoying this week, I mean, these are huge palettes. So, I mean, I just played with a few shadows from each of them. The Wanderlust palette, I played with some of the pinks. Let me show you. Um, I was talking on Instagram stories and several of y'all were saying you liked my eye look. And I had this shade on, I think, I'm pretty sure I did. And then I think I had a little bit of frosting and a little bit of gravity. This is just a fun, colorful palette, big palette, but it's like 10 bucks, which is amazing. And then sometimes it's on sale, which makes it even less expensive. If you have a Target red card, you get your 5% off. So, you know, at any time, even if it's not on a sale, you can get that. But here are some pretty shades. Like, look at that right there. That duochrome is so fun. So if you wanna see more swatches from this palette, check out that video. But yeah, huge palette, comes with a two-sided brush that's actually functional and usable and good. So love that one. If you like colors, then I would go with the Wanderlust. But if you like really super warm tones, look at this one, the Confidence palette. This one's fun. I really enjoy them both. Well, I like them for different reasons. I was trying to think which one I like more. Mm, I'd probably pick this one, the Confidence, because I like these warm tones for sure. So like today I have a little bit of Dynasty in my crease and I have a little bit of, oh, I have some of these, these shades. So what I was gonna say is I like these warm tones, but I really, really like these shades in this palette because I feel like they're neutrals, but Neutrals that aren't done as often because they're those kind of ugly, sort of khaki, mustardy colors, those kind of ugly colors that are really amazing. I just love them. I think they're so pretty. So I have a little bit of Benefit in my crease. Did I just, yeah, I totally just swatched on the same finger. So let's fix that. So I have some Dynasty in my crease. I have some Benefit in my crease and I have some Likeable in my crease, but kind of higher in my crease. Do you see? They're just kind of I mean, they really are just not cute colors that end up being really, really nice on the eyes and are just something different. This one's a really pretty shade. So I really do feel like these are something a little bit different, but I mean, all of them in here are really, really pretty. This is a nice quality palette. I don't wanna know why I said nice. It's a nice quality palette that is just good, inexpensive. I am so impressed with Profusion makeup. I was saying, y'all let me know, if you've tried their stuff from Walgreens, let me know what you think of that stuff and their stuff from Walmart. Cause honestly, I haven't checked if it's the same or different. So I can't really speak to what the quality is like from those particular products, if they are different, but I've just tried their stuff that is found at Target or on their website. That stuff, amazing. Like their palettes are just so good. I like their lip products too. And the price point is just, it's hard to like, grasp how good this is for the price point. So loving those. Another ColourPop palette, here's another one. <laughs> and I love this one too. This is the Chasing Rainbows Pressed Powder Palette and this is part of their holiday collection. Look at this adorable packaging. I mean, ColourPop puts out a lot of makeup. I really feel like it's almost too much. I wish that they would kind of pull it back a little bit and maybe slow down just a little bit, just so we could kind of keep up a little bit better. But what I was going to say is for how often they put out new makeup, 
they have such a good like graphics art department that is just able to make really super cute stuff and turn it out really quickly. So this is adorable. It's so super cute. So Chasing Rainbows, it is just the outer sleeve. So the outer sleeve is like the iridescent -y, cloudy looking thing. And then this is just kind of, um, I don't know, unicorn, duo, chromey, ombre, so pretty. So you open it up, it's a colorful palette. It's a fun palette. So that day that I was wearing that pinky look, I also had some of like this color in my crease. I have some of that in my crease today. And I had some of, did I have not playing? I think I had this one too. I was just playing with like all the pinks that day. But another one that I love is Blurred Lines. This is a really cool um, duo chromey golden sort of a color. And then the two that I have on today that was kind of a surprise happy accident is Eclipse. This one looks like it's not gonna be that exciting. And it's not like it's super exciting, but it's really, really pretty on the eyes. It's a like an icy, taupey sort of a color. Do you see it? It's, it's a little bit icy and just super light. So while it's not super duper unique, I feel like it's a little bit unique because it's that icy sort of a taupe. So I love that. And then I have a little bit of Lucid in my outer corner, kind of like outer part of my lid. Look at that, y'all. pretty and it's really pretty next to that taupey color this is just this is a fun palette so I mean Colourpop like I said puts out a lot of makeup but I mean this is pretty unique there are really some unique colors in here that are really really beautiful and I feel like this is a very um creative sort of a palette where you can really go neutral but you can also have a lot of fun with some color even I mean all those together would make a beautiful eye look. It's just fun. It's a fun palette that's fun to play with. This one is amazing. It's kind of like a MAC blue brown pigment, but I feel like it has a strong um, purpley sort of a shift to it. Like I see a, a bluey teal shift, but then I see a purpley shift to it also. I just really like it. So I kept grabbing for this and really, really enjoyed it telling you, I'm always watching ColourPop, just whatever they do. I'm always watching, especially their palettes. For blush this week, I was still grabbing for this palette, the BH Cosmetics Mrs. Bella The Dark Side. This is the 12 color shadow blush and highlighter palette. I really didn't reach for the shadows, I don't think, this week, but I was grabbing for this palette specifically for the blush and highlighter once again, so that's what I've got on my face today, and they're just beautiful. So I was going to mention it to you again because this is really what I was reaching for again. The, just to kind of like share it with you once again, because if you didn't see my Friday favorites last week, let's just chat about it again. The blush is a beautiful, neutral, basically matte. I mean, it's almost a satin, but mostly matte. It's a very neutral kind of rosy, warm pink sort of a color really beautiful and then the highlighter is a very neutral um kind of warm gold like i see a little bit of a peachy sort of a, a shift to it it's gorgeous it's a very versatile sort of a color too i think that it's going to go with a lot of different makeup looks it's one that you're going to get a lot of use out of so love that they picked very versatile neutral sort of face products in this palette so you know if you're traveling with this there's just a lot of different options. I mean, with all these different eyeshadows, tons of different looks that you could do with it. Mostly, I mean, neutral, but smoky, light, very soft, or a little bit more edgy. You could do all those kind of eye looks, but then you've got those base products that just are gonna go with anything. So love this palette, great for traveling. Just a good palette, awesome quality, good price point. We're already on to lips, y'all. I kind of feel like I flew through my Friday favorites this week, but this is what I was loving. So for lips this week, I was really enjoying the Maybelline. This is one of the bolds. I don't know if they still have it divided in the same way. When I've been in the stores, I feel like they've kind of reorganized their lipsticks in a different way, like almost by color grouping versus the bolds or whatever. 
I don't know, but maybe they're still kind of like this online. Who knows? I'll try to find it for you and link it for you. This is one of the bolds, if that's what they still call it, who knows, in Berry Bossy, 820 Berry Bossy. And this is the color that I have on my lips right now. It's a beautiful berry shade. It's so fun. I can see it is one of those kind of berries that's, I mean, it's a little bit patchy, but you can kind of even it out. I, I feel like a lot of berries like this are that way, especially a matte. So it's not, it's not that bad, but it does, I'm saying that because it does take maybe another um, pass over to be able to kind of get that even application. But I love that it is a purpley berry, but then it's got kind of like a pinky um, base to it or something. So kind of as it wears away, it gets to be more of a pinky sort of a color. It reminds me of um, Max Rebel because I remember Rebel is always has always been that way where it's a it's a berry but then kind of as it fades it sort of fades to a pink which I think is kind of fun. Some people may hate that but I think it's kind of fun. It's like you get two lip colors in one. So I feel like this one kind of does the same thing where it starts out to be more of a purpley pinky berry but then as it fades it goes a little bit more pink. But it's beautiful it's that easy matte formula where you just put it on don't worry about it it's there it doesn't get everywhere because it's a matte but it's a comfortable matte where it's not overly drying it's not over hydrating either but it's that good balance in between super affordable i love it okay guys so those are all my favorites for this week so i hope that you really enjoyed this video please hit a thumbs up if you did let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video bye